Dit is Papa Alfa 0, Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 18 oktober 2015. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. Zoals altijd zijn de uitzendingen van de Daily Minutes in het weekend in het Engels. As every weekend, our show today is in English. Today we have some ham radio news from several sources all around the world. At the end of the show we have a small piece of a couple of seconds of 8 PSK250 which is one of my favorites because it is robust and super fast. It is centered around 750 Hz this time. So it's 8 PSK250 around 750 Hz. The transmitted text is some information about the Lincolnshire poacher. It is also possible to decode the text using FL Digi and YouTube in your browser. In most cases you don't have to connect any cables to do so. Of course, we also have some Morse code at the end of the show. From Australia, this is VK1WIA and the weekly WIA amateur radio news service. Aussie balloon ditches in the Southern Pacific. The flight launched Saturday, October 10 by Andy VK3YT is the latest in his series of small balloons over the last two years carrying an amateur radio payload. It took a zigzag course over eastern Victoria, then headed north to Wallaga Lake in New South Wales. Leaving the Australian mainland, it went near Lord Howe Island, north of New Zealand and across the international date line. It was tracked by stations in VK1, 2, 3, 4 and VK5, plus ZL1 and 2, with stateside observations including Virginia, Georgia and Pennsylvania. It was Jim, W3BH in pen receiving it, who confirmed that the small balloon had descended halfway between Australia and South America and, after a three-day flight, was declared lost. Hello, this is Mike Marsh, G1IAR, and welcome to the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS National News for Sunday the 18th of October 2015, supplied by the Radio Society of Great Britain and brought to you by TX Factor. The RSGB are working with two film companies to make a series of promotional videos. And the first of these, promoting amateur radio to young people, has been produced by the TX Factor for the RSGB and is now on general release on the RSGB's YouTube channel. If you'd like to take a note of this URL, you can go check out the brand new video. It's at https colon slash slash u y o u t u dot b e slash eight x ray six x ray underscore six m for mike delta victor india quebec and that will take you straight to the brand new video Next year, a new organisation, the IOTA Foundation, will manage the RSGB Islands on the Air programme in partnership with the Society. Last year, the RSGB board identified a number of challenges facing the programme, including the need to provide an online system to track and manage the submission of island credits, similar to the ARRL's Logbook of the World. Since then, a small group of IOTA enthusiasts has been working with the RSGB to ensure that the IOTA programme continues to grow and that the IOTA Foundation is the fruition of that work. Roger Ballister, Golf 3 Kilo Mike Alpha, Bob Barden, Mike Delta Zero, Charlie Charlie Echo, Cesar Trifu, Victor Echo 3, Lima Yankee Charlie, and Johan Willemsen, Papa Alpha 3 Echo X-Ray X-Ray, are the team who will implement the IT changes, and some of these will form the IOTA Foundation with representation from radio amateurs at home and abroad. An Australian DMR net operates on Sunday evenings at 19.30 hours Eastern Standard Time. Although more information may be found on the net at www.vkdmr.info, today we are joined by Glenn Dunstan, VK4DU, with more on the take-up of DMR. Hello everyone. Digital Mobile Radio, or DMR, is a commercial digital radio protocol used by thousands of commercial land mobile radio networks worldwide. DMR uses Time Division Multiple Access, or TDMA, to provide two slots per radio channel. Each slot can carry independent voice conversations. This means that each DMR repeater provides two simultaneous voice channels using only one RF channel. 
DMR is a fully digital platform, so repeaters can be directly connected together via IP. This allows very simple linking of repeaters in the next suburb or on the other side of the world. In 2011, a group of DMR system designers formed the DMR Mark Network. This is a worldwide network of more than 500 interconnected DMR amateur repeaters across 44 countries including Australia and New Zealand. More than 18,000 amateurs are registered on the network. Australian DMR amateur repeaters are located at Cairns, Brisbane, the Gold Coast, Sydney, Melbourne and Perth. More repeaters are coming online soon. All the repeaters are connected together and also to the worldwide DMR network. You can regularly talk to stations all over the world as well as across VK and ZL. DMR provides better noise rejection and weak signal performance than analog radio systems. DMR signals will hang on much longer than analog ones. DMR also has very good quality transmitted audio. DMR equipment is designed for commercial use. It is rugged, reliable and has very good RF performance. Equipment is available from a number of manufacturers with features ranging from simple to complex. Prices start from around $250. An Australian DMR net operates on Sunday evenings on the network at 19.30 Eastern Standard Time. I'm Glenn, VK4DU, for the Australian DMR network. More information may be found on the web, vkdmr.info. QTX means go away. DX is be aware. A new modern meeting is being put on the old Q code of QTX, and it may become popular with D-Expeditions and DXs. QTX now means DX chase. It takes two to tango, which frees D-Expedition from being plagued by persistent callers in an aggressive manner. As explained, when a de-expedition operator clearly gives the signal QDX to a particular call sign, that station should stop transmitting for a specified time, but is welcome to return later with a different approach. It works both way. QDX may also be used to a pilot station indicating that the DX operator on a band or at a time is out of their depth, leading to a chaotic situation. Originally, QDX was defined as meaning Will you keep your station open for further communication with me until further notice, or until a certain time, which is only slight variation from its new DX application? The new Q code was revealed at the Vatican when DXs gathered for a dinner last weekend, and put HV0A on air, including the famed Marty Lane, OH2BH.